More than two dozen people were arrested this week in connection with charges including drug trafficking and financial crimes. Uh, the arrest by the U.S. Marshals and federal agents and local police followed a series of grand jury indictments. 34 people have been charged in connection with the investigation and during the arrest. Um, it was a large quantity of fentanyl, methamphetamine, firearms, and cash uh, that they recovered. Uh, those indicted included uh, the dude Chad Jabo Brown, Robert Lewis, uh, Robert Sims, Samir Sampson, Carl Garrett, and uh, Tiffany. They call it uh, BMF Tiff. I, I thought it was crazy because, um, you know, for people that don't know, Jabo was, you know, third in command during the height of the BMF, you know, uh, empire. And he did a lot of time. Like I think he did like twelve years or this and shit like that. Um, and he came home a few years ago and got right back to it. This is crazy because this is the BMF family, uh, Black Mafia family. For all those that aren't familiar, they've been in the news for the last fifteen years. They were one of the most prolific families. They made a lot of money. A lot and of money. They got the Rico. The feds came in and locked up the majority of the family of course you know there's still aunties uncles aunts like you said he did 12 years he got out and you know i was actually reading a story and he did a ppp loan too and i thought that oh, was shit. yeah because they're gonna charge him with the ppp loan too i'm like yo they are really coming for the people with the ppp like and that's not a small that's a federal charge so right Please, I'm sorry. Like I felt like I missed the PPP train. I don't know if you <laughs> say you say you missed. I, I the thought PPP I did. Train. Yeah, because it's like everybody got a PPP, and by the time I got around to it, because I actually have a small business, it right? Was so to say you could have really got one on some legit shit. You know what I mean? And then yeah, I think if you didn't get the twenty, you still could have got the ten. But by the time right. I got there, it was already gone. And then to see these stories of people just going crazy getting them illegally and all this stuff they really thought they was gonna get caught because what we like two years now from corona and now they just come in the sweep they just back. coming i think that the government obviously must have been watching them forever like i don't know how they thought how he thought he could get out and still continue down the same lines i feel like they're watching you know yeah nah man hey the people always watching man you know what i'm saying that is very like you know they got everything digital now so it's very little that you could, you know, get away from or be able to do without cameras or recording or stuff like that, man. So, yeah. But well, let me ask you this. The, and up? this is where I struggle internally. I mean, I, I don't, I haven't done anything illegal. I don't do anything illegal. But I feel like life is so short. And a lot of times people are willing to take these penitentiary chances. People are willing to do something strange for some change because life is hard. Life is short and a lot of people are getting away with it so you might just want to dibble and dabble and feel like you could get away with it and sometimes like sometimes people just be taking them chances like yeah facts it's yeah. like would you rather live a regular life of brokenness and then you come up on an opportunity to change your life but there's a penitentiary chance with it would you take would you would you roll the dice or would you just stay regular and I, mean, I think what, hey, what would you do what would you do Dre? i don't know i don't know <laughs> Dre, i got Dre always been for money man so she don't understand <laughs> no you know what i think i would probably it, it depends like if i had kids and a family and like more stuff to lose i might think about it a little bit more but i don't think i don't think i would do nothing too crazy because i enjoy my freedom too much but Bad. I think when you're when you're faced with those opportunities, it's it's hard, it's a hard uh thing to think about. So I, I can't blame a lot of people that end up taking the bait, you know, because that's a lot of people getting away with it. But I feel like karma always catches you. You never get away forever. Facts, man. Facts. I ain't gonna lie, man. Shit ain't start going good for me, man. Until I start doing right. When I start See? doing right, shit <laughs> start going good. When I was outside doing whatever. It should be up and down all the fuck around. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's some real life shit. So. I'm I think, so bro, like on house arrest. Somebody told me, bro, like on house arrest in Texas or some weird shit. I don't know, man. I, I heard, bro, got arrested at O Block fighting like last week. I don't know if that's true or not. Somebody 
rumors coming from? That's crazy. <laughs> For real. I, I, didn't hear none of that, I but... heard it was a big ass fight at O Block and Reese was there and got locked up. Why would Reese be? <laughs> why, would Reese... why would Reese be there? That's I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit. Yo, I was so as soon as I got off the airplane yesterday. Mm -hmm. I got multiple text messages about Reese. Yeah, and that was I, crazy, I right? Heart, a whole heart drop because I was like, no, no, like, because you know what? A lot of no one has died lately. It was like a whole period of time last year where people just kept dying. It was like every time you open up your phone, somebody died. Facts. And, and no one's died, so I was like, and I just seen him. We just dropped. I just did that whole little um. Day in the life thing. Yeah, you did like the vlog with him and shit. Yeah, and I didn't even drop it yet. I'm like, oh my god, it was it, that shit scared me. So, but thank God he's okay. I believe. Yeah, yeah. Still ain't oh, that shit was fake, man. But I think he's in jail. I don't know where he is actually. Whatever. Oh, nah, they say he good, man. He chilling, man. I guess he had text. I wonder why he ain't jumped on live. Like I'm alive. <laughs> It's just crazy the amount of blogs that just like grabbed that shit and ran it's with like it you like could, instantly. Look how easy it is to start a rumor. You just that shit was instant. Like I start calling people because somebody called me about it, and I I called somebody like, bro, what's up? As soon as I called him, he's like, nah, that shit fake. He be outside, like he be outside, and that's the thing about being outside of Chicago. It's fun, but it's like anything can happen at any moment. So. Thanks.